Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Luke, and today I'm going to show you how to make this pretty cool fancy logo here. You can use it for your company, you can use it for um, your clown, your guild, I don't know, whatever you want. So, the company is um, you can use uh, you can have a reader style, uh, you can have a have the normal style, and you can have a pretty cool glowing behind it. Um, so that's it. We also got this underline here that is scratchy and um, a, a bit dirty. So, scratchy for itself, and we got a lot of rest. Okay, <clears throat> so let's start. Five new and seven hundred and four hundred pixels. Click OK. First thing, the first thing I uh, want to do is to make the layer from background. So just do that. Right click and layer from background. And we got it. And then we press G to select the uh, gradient, uh, gradient overlay, uh, overlay uh, tool. Sorry. Uh, I want to have to choose 242424 and click OK. Zero. Okay, uh, click OK again and uh, just shift click and drag. It will be like that. That's pretty cool. So, I could start. Um, <coughs> what I want to do next is to create a new text layer. Uh, press T. Uh, sorry. Uh, press T. Click in the middle of the, um, of the, sc uh, of the screen. And. Um, I'm using the font normal, so I'm just going to write tutorial here, and I will leave it the description. So don't worry. Um, that's done. We're clicking on the layer style here. Double just click double click on layer. Oops, I'm just going to click that. No, double click on layer and gradient overlay. Uh, I'm already done with my gradient overlay, so set the angle to. And I'm just this. And it's 543923. Click OK. And A, A8732F. Click OK. Then back to the original again. Uh, so click OK. The next thing we want to do is create a drop shadow here. I'm going to set the distance to 2, the size to na -na 7, it's fine. So, click OK. Now, now, now the text is really done. You can have it like this if you want to. Um, uh, keep watching the tutorial if you want the other tools to. The other options, sorry. Uh, so, try this side up and. I'm using a rectangle tool, U, press U, and select the rectangle tool, and use drag. Um, so, I want to add like gradient overlay to this too. So, we're taking, double clicking on the layer, we're clicking on the gradient overlay, making it 180 degrees, and we're going to choose. 4242 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, and 2d 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 and back to 4242 4, 2, 4, 2. click uh, anyway, sorry drop shadow uh, same as before 2 and then 9 <laughs> and we're done with that no I'm joking we're not done with that <laughs> we want to add uh, some scratches so we're creating a new layer uh, control clicking on the shape one layer, layer picture. I'm going to have a um, marking around this now. Want to uh, select the pink buckle tool uh, and fill it with black. So now the black is back. If you turn it off, it's the same color. It's the same color as before. So um, when is when that's done? And filter, render, and fibers. And you can just play around what you want here, but uh, I'm going for something, something 
can do like this. Something like that. And clicking OK. So now we got the fibers here. We can take down the opacity to what we think looks pretty cool. And then we're going to control and control and click T and uh, right click and choose perspective. And drag it a little bit to the left and click OK. Uh, now we want to um, uh, if we zoom in here, uh, you can see it's it's not. Will fill out to the end here. So what we're going to do is just Control Click T uh, and drag it a bit out. Um, <coughs> uh, so what we want to do here is to Control Click at the, the uh, shape one layer picture again, and then uh, go to select. Oh, sorry, no. Okay. Uh, ignore that. We're going to press this little button head down here. Uh, it says add layer mask. I'm just cutting the corners out here. So now we don't have to worry about that. What I want to do next is to create a new layer to make this dirty and bigger. Just paint some black here. Drag it maybe. Uh, cut there, and you can just play around with these brushes here. There yeah, is all we know about brushes, so don't worry. Um, there we go. I want to control click and shape one layer again, and then click at the layer mask button again. And we got this. Now we can take the positive down to less. So. There we go, we got the dirt, we got the scratches, and we got the online. <laughs> so, the next step is to create, um, uh, is create this V2 style. Uh, uh, this V2 style, yeah. there we go. Uh, and it's pretty simple actually, you is uh, duplicating this by is dragging it down to this icon here and just Drop it. You got it. And we want to disable the tail. We want to disable the effects by clicking down here and click fix. And then, oh, by the way, uh, we don't want to disable all the effects. We want to disable drop shadow. And uh, yeah, drop shadow is okay. And click okay. So, what we're doing this is to create a new layer. Control click the tutorial copy layer and control click E to merge them together. So it's really simple. I'm just going to take the rectangle marching tool by clicking M and just dragging them from yeah, it'll be fine. And click delete. You don't know this any different now, but if we uh, double click at the layer, so we can get the layer styles, and click drop shadow, you see a big, big difference. We want to uh, take the distance to zero, and uh, the size to, we can take what we want, but uh, five is good, so keep it like that. Then we want to take the gradient overlay, uh, set the angle to... 180 and uh, take the one before. So there we get the Brita style. Pretty simple, pretty cool, and yeah, pretty fancy. Um, so this looks pretty cool right here. But if you want to gloom behind the two, you can use the duplicate the layer three and drag it behind the tutorial the original text and then disable the drop shadow and instead take out and long and uh, make it be a little bit bigger and then um, you can choose if you want uh, a gradient overlay 
or um, uh, yeah, you can choose what you want here. I choose, choose to use have one color, so just click someone here. That'll be good. And just make it a bit. Opacity down. There we go. So opacity is 28, size to 29, and um, A7732F. Okay. And there we go. We can also just take the uh, take the eraser tool. Eraser here. Maybe not be as big as as before. So. There you go, this is a pretty simple tutorial in the, uh, on make more tutorials, so um, please subscribe and uh, see you next time, bye bye.